Good evening. It's 6 o'clock on Wednesday, July 27th, 2016. Welcome and thank you for joining us tonight for the English edition of Aura News, where we bring you today's top stories translated into English every weeknight. The risk of destroying the consensus reached for the judicial reform has alarmed the Assembly Speaker, Ilir Mehta, who interrupted his official visit to the USA and returned immediately to Albania. The Assembly Speaker's press office announced that Mr. Mehta interrupted his visit in order to clarify a confusion he learned of in recent days, which, according to him, could destroy the historic consensus reached on July 21st. Before interrupting his visit, the Assembly Speaker had a working lunch with Newt Fleckenstein, the European Parliament member, along with the Democratic Party chairman and socialist MPs Pandeli Maiko and Olta Jachka. MEP, MEP Fleckenstein appealed to the Albanian politicians that a solution should be found for the seven bylaws. Fleckenstein made the statement, we had a working lunch together with DP chairman and other representatives from the Socialist Party. After our common battle for the judicial reform, now they, and not us, are the ones who need to find a common solution to respect the laws. Euralius, the body which has offered its assistance for the judicial reform since the beginning, has asked that the law on vetting be adopted before the end of July, as the implementation of this reform starts from this institution and that opening the negotiations with the European Union depends on the vetting process. Aura News has learned that the parties are currently negotiating about summoning Parliament to adopt the vetting law separately from the six other laws that constitute the emergency package for the reform. The same sources said that the Democratic Party and the Socialist Party and the Socialist Movement for Integration should all give their consensus to summon the Assembly. Otherwise, adopting the law would be impossible, as it could be appealed by the Constitutional Court. Euralius says that the party's consensus in adopting the constitutional amendments should be reconfirmed for the law on vetting. Yesterday evening, Euralius sent the revised law on vetting to the Ad Hoc Commission on Judicial Reform and to the majority and opposition MPs to review the bill that needs adoption as soon as possible as the vetting process precedes the implementation of the judicial reform and establishes the structure that will check the entire system, including judges and prosecutors of the new institutions. Democratic Party sources for Aura News state that this revision is the reason the Democratic Party did not attend the meeting of the Ad Hoc Commission today, claiming they received the draft too late, arguing that it is impossible to formulate an opinion overnight. DP experts are considering it in detail and are preparing their remarks about it. The same sources confirmed that there were some issues in the law that the DP would like to have reviewed, expressing readiness to sit in on the commission and discuss them. Also, the sources say that the law cannot be adopted without the new constitution entering into force, but that does not prevent the parties from finding consensus now for all the issues and to finalize the law, making it ready for adoption in a parliamentary session following the constitutional amendments. The chairman of the Ad Hoc Commission on Judicial Reform, Fatmir Jafai, declared today that there are no reasons to delay voting on the vetting bill, as according to him, the opposition has been familiar with the vetting bill since July 4th and has no reason not to vote on the bill in Parliament. Mr. Jafai asked the Democratic Party not to hamper the consensus that was reached on July 21st. When asked about gathering the plenary session to vote on the bill, the chairman of the Ad Hoc Commission said, the minimal deadline is this week and the maximum deadline is the middle of August. However, the chairman of the Ad Hoc Commission avoided commenting on whether voting on the law without the reform entering into power is in conflict with the Constitution. Mr. Jafai asked the Democratic Party to participate in the Ad Hoc Commission meeting. I have sent a notification to the members of the Commission for a meeting. The law on vetting is one of the seven main laws of the constitutional package. The claim that they did not have time to read the law is not true. They have known the contents of the bill since July 4th. The bill is ready to be adopted in Parliament, Jafai said. 
The chairman of the Ad Hoc Commission also commented on the Assembly Speaker's decision to interrupt his visit to the USA in order to clear up some confusion created by the adoption of the vetting law. I am sorry that the DP has interrupted Mr. Mehta's visit. The Democratic Party and its members should have come to the meeting of the Commission today and there would not be such situations. The law on vetting precedes the judicial reform. Vetting processes should start before work for the judicial reform, emphasized Jafai. The Ad Hoc Commission on Judicial Reform has distributed some invitations for a special ceremony it will organize to celebrate the consensus in adopting the judicial reform. The invitations for the ceremony, which have been distributed in recent days, states that this will be a well-deserved ceremony after the successful adoption of the reform, after a hard work with dedication. The opposition does not think that it's time to celebrate, but rather to work hard for the reform. The vice chairman of the Ad Hoc Commission, the DPMP Bulik Bashi, says that the ceremony should be left for later and that the joint work to adopt the seven laws, which will make the reform valid, should start. The opposition is ready to commit to the consensual drafting of the laws, starting with the vetting law, of course, in accordance to the Constitution and constitutional procedures that ensure the reform's legitimacy, reads the DPMP's reaction, which went on to say that it's time for commitment and not for shows or pompous ceremonies for a process that does not honor the Socialist Party and the Assembly after they delayed the adoption of the judicial reform for two years. The government has adopted an increase in pension monies for 600,000 pensioners based on a prices index. According to the government's decision, pensions will increase 1.6% this year. The Minister of Social Welfare, who announced the news, declared that the increase was calculated based on the prices of necessary products pensioners buy and on the services they receive. The financial effects of this decision will start on August 1st, and the funds for the increase will come from the state budget. The Council of Ministers also adopted two other decisions to improve the criteria, rules, and procedures to receive the pension, said the minister. Earlier, the minister presented 12 projects for the youth in cooperation with the Ministry of Social Welfare and various organizations aimed to help establish social enterprises for gathering funds the social enterprises will use to help the needy. That's all for our English edition this evening. Please join us again Monday through Saturday at 6 p.m. for your local news in English. My name is Mari, and on behalf of Aura News, thank you and good night.